welcome to my math channel today I'm gonna to start with the basic algebra rules and I'm gonna start with adding and subtracting so let's start with the scratch so if I add 2 times 2 plus 3 the answer will be 5 and then I if I say 3 minus 2 you will see the answer is 1 now uh, if I say if if I say it is uh, 2 minus 3 now it looks a little tricky so uh, how to solve this kind of a problem what's gonna happen is uh, the you will still subtract when you see a negative sign you will always subtract uh, but you will what you're gonna do is you will keep the sign with the bigger term so uh, 2 and 3 if I look what is the which one is a bigger term so you're gonna say 3 is bigger than 2 uh, so what is the sign with the bigger term the sign with the bigger term is negative so I'm gonna keep the negative sign with this and having said that I'm just gonna uh, take another concept so we always look for the sign which is in front of that term so in this case this three the sign in front of the three was negative so three is a negative term and the sign in front if there is no sign in front of a term it means it is a positive term uh, so now now if it is negative 2 and negative 3 if it is written like this so what are you going to do uh, in this case when you see the two negative terms uh, you will add them but by keeping the negative sign in front so 2 plus 3 what is the value uh, 2 plus oops 2 plus 3 the answer is equal to 5 and uh, but in this both are negative terms so you will add both the terms but will keep the negative sign and with the uh, with the final answer also uh, so but now I'm, I've generated by doing this exercise I've generated a couple of rules uh, so let's look into those rules if there is a negative negative and negative and a positive term so you will you will always subtract them and then if there is a negative and and a negative term you will you will add but keep keep the negative negative sign oops negative sign in final answer and then if you have uh, a positive and a positive and that's that's pretty straightforward you will just add both the terms this belongs to this and you will just add them and then uh, if you have a positive and a negative so the same rule will apply subtract you will subtract them and keep the sign with the bigger term keep the sign with bigger term and same rule will apply here also keep sign with bigger term now let's apply these rules to the algebraic terms so for before I start with the algebraic terms I wanted to talk about the like terms so in uh, when you are solving the algebra you will uh, hear this term often that these are like terms these are not like terms so what are like terms so in like terms let's try and understand uh, so whenever we do the algebra the terms are written like in the form of x y and z mostly is there will you'll find a b c also but uh, we're gonna use these three terms and they are sufficient to understand the algebraic coffee uh, algebraic rules mm, and let's start with this term x so in in this term there are two things one is uh, actually there are three things one is uh, one is uh, uh, one is the base another is exponent and third is constant so when I talk about the uh, base so this X this becomes the base and with this base and this base sometimes is also called variable so the term which is represented over here 
where I'm putting the question mark this is called exponent and the term in front I'm going to change the color the term which is in front of this variable or in front of this base is called constant so if I write x raised to the power 5 and then there is 3 in front I want to ask you what is constant what is base and what is uh, what is the exponent so the variable part or the base part is x this is variable and then this is exponent and this is called constant okay now exponent becomes 5 and the variable becomes x constant becomes 3 now what are like terms like terms like terms mean base and exponent have to be the same so if I write x raised to the power 4 and then this another term I write x raised to the power 4 are they like terms and yes they are like terms because their base their base and then their exponent is same if I change these values this is 2 now I'm gonna ask you are these two like terms yes they are still like terms because we haven't talked about the constants we never said in this statement that constants have to be the same they're still the like terms because the base which is x and the exponent which is 4 they're still the same in both the terms so another example I'm gonna take 5x square and 3x square are they like terms yes they are like terms because base x which is x is same and the exponent which is 2 so the exponents are same now where I'm gonna use this rule of like terms so when we are adding and subtracting the algebraic terms like terms like oops like I should erase this like terms can be added or subtracted so if, it, if you are given a term x and x I wanted to add them x plus x so when am I I'm gonna add them the base and exponent will remain same only constant will change and this is an addition or subtraction rule I'm talking about adding or subtracting so x plus x will give you 2x and now x square plus x square if I'm gonna add these two terms another thing which I didn't talk about which can be confusing if there is nothing in front it means there is one in front so there is one in front so x square plus x square or 1x square plus 1x square is 2x square it's just like adding as I said base and exponent will remain same so you're just adding the constant terms so the so 1 plus 1 is 2 5x square plus 3x square again when I'm adding the terms the base and the exponent will remain the same I'm gonna add the constant 5 plus 3 is 8 x square and the rules which we've learned in the very first slide we can apply to the algebraic addition and subtraction also so now I'm gonna say 5x cube plus 3x square can I add or subtract them first of all again I'm gonna look for the like terms are they like terms they are not the like terms so I can't add them so I'll just mirror this images and write down the answer as it is 5x cube plus 3x square so I can't add them now if I say 5x cube plus 3x cube 
you will say the the uh, they are same so i'll add it will be 8x cube if i change the question a little bit negative 5x cube plus 3x cube so again the rule which we learned in the first slide what was the rule negative so it's like writing i think it's not here so i'm, I'm gonna apply the rules here negative 5 plus 3 so what's gonna happen so ne this is a negative term and this is a positive term so negative and a positive you will a negative negative and a positive you will subtract them but keep the sign keep the sign with the bigger term so sign with the bigger term is negative so the answer will be 5 minus 3 is 2 sign with the bigger term is negative so <coughs> my answer will be negative 2 and the base and the exponent will remain the same x cube and then if there is another question negative 5x cube negative 5x oh rather than using negative i will use the three i could have used the negative anyhow uh, so this if i wanted to solve this again so which rule i'm going to use this uh, when there are two negative terms two negative term you add them but keep the negative sign in the final answer so your negative so this will be 5 plus 3 will become 5 plus 3 both are negative terms because the sign in front is negative sign in front of this one is also negative 5 plus 3 is 8 so 8 but with the negative sign and negative x cube so hopefully you were able to understand the addition and uh, subtraction rules in the next tutorial i'm going to talk about the multiplication rule see you bye now